welcome to see our youth by the fire another week it's going to be an awesome one we got sophie bringing the word tonight in a brand new series you're not going to want to miss it so we're going to start out our night with my friend jesse and we got joe and my name is raya and we're going to worship together we're going to sing praises to our god so let's join in together let's sing it out trust who you say you are. Tonight we respond to you. We trust you, Jesus. Yes, we do. Oh, you are we want, Lord. Come on, let's sing. Speak to me. Speak to me when the silence steals my voice. You understand me, you understand me, come to me in the valley of unknown, you understand me, you understand me, and you understand me, God, and you understand so I threw all my cares before you. My doubts and fears don't scare you. You're bigger than I thought you were. You're bigger than I thought. So I sign up on negotiations with the God of all creation. You're bigger than I thought you were. You're bigger you were. Yes, you are, guys. 
Let's pray together. God, we thank you for who you are. God, we thank you that we get to worship you, that we get to come to you boldly and to pour out our praises to you. God, we will lay down all our negotiations, all our doubts at your feet right now. Would you help us to grow closer to you tonight? We want to experience you in a real way. So God, we invite you in. We know you're already moving. We invite you in to move in our lives. We love you, and it's in your name we pray, amen. What's up, Sierra Youth? I'm so glad you're with us tonight. My name's Sophie, and I'm one of the youth pastors at the Woodbury campus, and I'm just so glad that you're here to join us for Sierra Youth by the Fire. We just finished our previous series, Crazy Faith, which was so great, and now tonight we are kicking off a new series called Father, Son, and Who? where we're talking about the Holy Spirit. Some of you may have like never heard of that before, but it's actually part of something called the Trinity. So there's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And during the series, we're gonna be focusing on who the Holy Spirit actually is. And the Holy Spirit is actually God's presence here on earth with us. Because when Jesus left earth, he left behind his spirit, the Holy Spirit. So we're gonna be talking about who the Holy Spirit is. And to figure out who the Holy Spirit is to help us understand, we actually have to talk about what the Spirit does. And the Holy Spirit has so many different kinds of roles. 
Holy Spirit's kind of like a barista who like fills you up daily and gives you energy. He's kind of like a blanket because he gives us comfort. I know some of you are sitting in the blanket right now. He helps us feel safe. He also is like kind of one of those speeding radars that like flash when you go too fast. I know some of you drivers have definitely hit those because they flash when you go too fast and he convicts us when we do things wrong. And that feeling of conviction is that gross, um, guilty feeling you get in your gut when you know you do something wrong. But he's also kind of like Santa Claus because he's a giver of gifts, but the Holy Spirit has all these different kinds of roles. And I know this can be a little bit confusing. I mean, I have a degree in this and I still think it's somewhat confusing, but the way I understand this best in my life is that all throughout the Bible, there's these passages about how the Holy Spirit leads. So I think of the Holy Spirit kind of like my tour guide who leads and guides me like when I don't really know where I'm going. So there's around two years ago, I was studying abroad in Italy and I had this tour guide named Paolo. And really quick, I want everybody in the comments to type how they think Paolo would be spelt because I have no idea how to spell it. I can barely say it, but Paolo was our tour guide. He would guide us all throughout the day, but in the afternoon, he kind of let us just like go and explore the city, which kind of dangerous, but it was really fun. But there's one day where I was very sick. I had the flu and it wasn't like a, oh, like, oh, I'm sick, but it was like, you kind of feel like you're gonna throw up at any moment and you get like the body chills, the body aches and like you can't move. But because we were moving cities each day, I couldn't like stay in the hotel and like rest it off or sleep it off, but we had to like keep moving. So me and my friends were walking around the city. They're having a great time. I feel like I'm gonna throw up at any point, like always keeping my eye on the nearest trash can. And after a few hours of walking around, we look around and we realize we have no idea where we are. And it begins to like sink in like, oh, we're lost in a foreign country. And we're looking around and everything's written in Italian. Nobody in my group speaks Italian. And we seemingly can't find anybody that speaks English. So we begin to panic and everybody's freaking out. And then we realize Paolo gave us his contact in case we needed to get a hold of him. So we call up Paolo, he answers right away, and he's like, hey, I need you to describe your surroundings. And I'm like, I see a blue building with these 16 letters on it because I couldn't pronounce this. But immediately he knew exactly where we were. And he gave us like these street by street directions that was like an hour long walk, but got us exactly back to the bus. And it was just crazy because we felt sick, we had no idea where we were, and he like led us back to safety to our bus. And that story reminds me so much of what the Holy Spirit's actually done in my life. Because when I'm feeling frustrated or scared or lost and in need of guidance, like when I call upon the Holy Spirit, when I pray and ask for guidance, He actually leads me. And some of you are like, why would we want to be led by the Holy Spirit? Why would we want to call upon the Holy Spirit? And we call upon the Spirit if we want to live out the kind of life that God wants us to live. And the Holy Spirit actually gives us the power to be able to live the kind of life that God wants us to live. He transforms our life. And I'm, I have a little illustration for you guys to explain this. So I have this little glass of milk here and we're gonna pretend that you're this glass of milk, I'm this glass of milk, we're all this glass of milk. And when we become followers of Jesus, he gives us his spirit. And it's kind of like pouring this chocolate into a glass. You can see it's all like settled there at the bottom. It's in there, but it's all settled at the bottom. You can't really see that much change in your life. But as we begin to pray and ask the Holy Spirit for guidance and we ask him to fill us up with his energy and his wisdom and his love, that's when we begin to see this transformation in our lives. And if we begin to like allow the Holy Spirit to lead us, that's when we begin to see this transformation occur. It's kind of like mixing the chocolate syrup in the milk. We see this milk go from normal milk to chocolate milk, and it's actually transformed. I can't somehow take the chocolate out and move it back to original milk. Like It is transformed. Just like the Holy Spirit begins to transform our lives, the more and more time we spend with Him and begin to connect with Him. And like I said earlier, the Holy Spirit um, is God's presence here on earth. And the fun thing about God's presence is that we can never leave it. it can, we can never escape it. And there's this passage in the book of Psalms that says this. And in Psalms 139, verses seven through 11, and it says, is there any place I can go to avoid your spirit, to be out of your sight? If I climb to the sky, you are there. If I go underground, you are there. If I flew on the morning's wings to as far as the Western horizon, you'd find me in a minute. You're already there waiting. 
Then I said to myself, oh, he even sees me in the dark. At night, I'm immersed in light. And it's saying that God's presence, his spirit, will never abandon us. It's always, it's always in there, chilling in the bottom of our glass of milk. But when we begin to see transformation is when we try and actually connect with the Holy Spirit. We allow him to lead us. We allow him um, to give us that wisdom and to ask him to fill us up with his love and his energy. That's when we begin to see this transformation. And it's that same kind of transformation that I and each of the other youth pastors actually want for each and every one of you. And I know it may seem a little intimidating because we're just learning about who the Holy Spirit is, but as you tune in these next three weeks and we begin to learn more about who the Holy Spirit is, what he can do in your life and what he can do in our world, I guarantee that if you continue to make steps to connect with the Holy Spirit, that you're gonna grow in your faith this summer. And I know it can seem a little strange, but I'm gonna actually ask all of us to take a step tonight and for the rest of this week. I want us all to try and take that step to connect with the Holy Spirit. And the easiest way that you can do that is actually by praying this daily prayer, by saying, God, give me the awareness of your Holy Spirit in my life this week and help me to be led by your Spirit. And I promise that if you pray that prayer daily and over these next three weeks, you continue to try and connect with the Holy Spirit and get to know who the Holy Spirit is, that we're gonna grow in our faith together this week. So as we close out tonight, let me pray for you. Um, dear God, I just thank you so much um, for your spirit and for allowing us to get to know you better through the Bible um, and just together through CR Youth, God. I just pray that you make us aware of your Holy Spirit in our lives this week. Um, and Lord, I just pray that we ask, um, that we find times to ask for guidance of your Holy Spirit, that we just really dig in um, to getting to know more about who the Holy Spirit is these next few weeks, allowing him to guide us, allowing him to give us wisdom and love and energy in these next few weeks to come. God, we love you so much, and it's in your name we pray. Amen.